Bringing you the spirit of the Northwest, we are KATU. Now, Channel 2 News. We have a whale of a tale to tell tonight about a box office smash who stole our hearts and the children who captured his spirit and helped bring him home to Oregon. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. Jeff Ginola is off tonight. And I'm Julie Embry. Well, ever since Keiko touched down last night, throughout the day today, the whale frenzy has only grown bigger and bigger. So let's go to Paul Lindman, who's at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Hi again, Paul. Hello again, Julie. Visiting hours just closed here, 5 o'clock, 7 to 5 every single day. They opened it on Keiko's very first day. I don't know how many thousand people came through here, but I'm not kidding you. It was a zoo. It's starting to get dark in the pool behind us, and I'm, I'm not sure that you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see uh, Keiko back there. By all the expert accounts, we can tell you he is doing very, very well. I think a lot of people expected him to do some fast swimming and really tear around this new two million gallon tank today. But the fact of the matter is the experts tell us this is a very normal behavior for him. He's eating well, he's feeling fine. Uh, it was a long, hard trip for him, but he is surviving it very, very well. And as you look at him, let's back the story up a little bit because you know, it's important to remember that Keiko's new home here in Newport at the Oregon Coast Aquarium is called a rehabilitation facility. It's not an amusement park. He won't be performing here. The reason is he has severe health problems. And Grant McComey has more on that. Keiko's arrival last night was marked by tender, loving care as trainers and doctors carefully moved him home, but not before monitoring his vital signs, including his respiration rate and then a blood sample. The most encouraging moment after the long ordeal came when trainers offered him food and he took it. He's uh, eating very well and um, right now he's kind of, you could say, anxious. He doesn't know what, what happened to him and, and but I think he's going to do fine. Today he is recovering from the cross-country odyssey, just plain loafing, one doctor said. And in the light of day, you can see his flattened dorsal fin and the lesions on his flippers. Doctors say this will all improve in Keiko's new home that's five times bigger and 20 degrees cooler than the one he left behind in Mexico. Basically, that's the temperature the killer whales are designed for, and so their body's physiology and chemistry works better at those temperatures. Uh, he hasn't shown any signs, that, so he doesn't shiver or anything like that, so uh, he's doing quite well temperature-wise. And that's exactly what doctors hope will be a healthy prognosis for the months ahead. I'm Grant McComey, Channel 2 News. Back to the live picture, you're looking directly into Keiko's tank. He's about as far away from us as he possibly can be. I'm not sure you can see him. You know, one of the doctors told Grant there isn't really a critical time for Keiko to accept or reject his new environment. It's really a day-to-day -day process that will stretch over a period of months, but everybody here is very, very happy with the first day. What specifically are his problems? Let's go over a few. Keiko weighs about 7,700 pounds. He's one ton underweight. They hope to feed him more and bring his weight up here. He has skin lesions uh, caused by limitations placed on his previous environment. He has digestive troubles. His muscle tone is not great because while he was a performer down in Mexico City, he didn't get enough activity. And finally, he has a fallen dorsal fin, and the experts say this is due most likely to all the surface swimming he's been doing and the one direction swimming he's been doing. Here, he'll be able to go underwater. He's done that a few times today. And of course, he'll be able to swim in any direction he likes, even when he goes into the medical tank. So those are the things that they'll be working on uh, while he is here, and as the experts consider uh, returning him to the wild uh, and they will begin to make that uh, uh, call in about two years from right now. As for the Oregon Coast Aquarium, you may not know that more than a half million people visit the Oregon Coast Aquarium every year, but now with Keiko here, it looks like the sky's the limit. He's already drawing huge crowds to Newport. We saw that all day long. And as Victoria Fung reports, Keiko's making quite a splash in the local economy. Go. Well before the Newport Aquarium opened this morning, crowds packed the front entrance, hoping to be among the first to see Keiko. Once inside, visitors got an underwater glimpse of a lifetime. Can you see him? Can you see him? Oh, look at him. Oh, wow. Come on, go down and dive. Come on. And he'd keep on cruising by checking out his new surroundings and giving spectators like five-year-old Ben Hantho a real thrill. I like whales like the size like that. But all the wild excitement over Keiko isn't just here at the aquarium, but all over the town of Newport, where people are expecting this orca 
to bring in a whale of a lot of business. Merchants in this small fishing town say Keiko mania will mean big profits. The owner of this tiny cafe has had to hire more workers. She expects business to jump 60%, all because of Keiko. Yeah, he's going to be real good for business. He's going to be real good for Newport. And local hotels see big bookings ahead for Keiko tours. We've been doing great. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. The town is up for this. And uh, tourism, we hope, will thrive from this. It comes to 75, 54. Then there are the souvenirs whale lovers are scooping up in short order. The T-shirts, stuffed toys, the puppets. Fans just can't get enough. And they especially can't wait to see Keiko. In Newport, Victoria Fung, Channel 2 News. Okay, thanks a lot, Victoria. We know that thousands of you are planning trips down to Newport in the weeks and months ahead to see Keiko. And we want to give you an idea of what it's going to cost uh, when you get down here to the Oregon Coast Aquarium. The cost is $8 per adult, $7 for seniors 65 and older, $4 for kids age 4 to 13, and those under 4 are admitted free. There are annual memberships as well. And I want to tell you, I spent some time in the gift shop today, and uh, the prices there are very reasonable for an attraction of this quality. So it's a, just a delightful place to, to visit. Uh, there's some daytime video from up top, uh, the camera that uh, we've been following. Oh, that's right now, I'm told. That's a live picture. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, and by the way, thanks to all of our engineers and photographers. Boy, these, these men and women have been working their whale of a tail off uh, for the last several days, and we do appreciate it. But this is live as it appears outside, and this is a view you will not get when you come to Newport because all of the public viewing is down underneath through the large windows. That to decrease the amount of human activity that uh, Keiko has. So we'll wrap it up for, from here for right Right now, a little bit later in the hour, though, we want to visit with you again and give you an idea of the media that covered Keiko's arrival in Newport. Do you realize we're talking about 125 different organizations from around the world? You won't believe some of the places, but we'll cover that later in this hour. Right now, we'll go back to Steve and Julie in Portland. Well, we can certainly see Keiko's not camera shy, cooperating fully with those photographers, so we can't wait for the pictures. Thank you, Paul. And many of the people watching tonight, of course, many of you aren't from the coast. You live in Portland, Vancouver, and Salem, so we want to give you an idea of how to get to Newport. You take Highway 99 West, heading south. You'll pass through Newburgh and McMinnville. When when you get to Lincoln City, you want to turn south on Highway 101. Newport is about 20 miles down the highway, so then follow the signs to the aquarium. And you don't have to go all the way to the coast to experience Keiko mania. You can find it in the Portland area as well. So coming up a little later in this newscast, we'll show you the pressing problem of keeping up with Keiko's popularity. And you'll also meet the person who has this license plate. What do they think of all the attention Oregon's new orca whale is getting? That's coming up later. Let's look outside right now and see who we have. We have the Oregon Coast Aquarium. We have that famous, f famous person, no rain, absolutely no rain, uh, and a tank and water conditions that are 20 degrees cooler than down in Mexico City. I was wondering about uh, Keiko, if they do in fact want to uh, turn him loose in the wild one day after two years, wouldn't they in this aquarium start feeding him fish live? I mean, in the tank where he has to go get his own for practice? That's just a question we'll have to ask Mr. Lindman. See, they're hand feeding them now, but you know, okay. Bringing you the spirit of the Northwest, we are KATU. Now, Channel 2 News. Well, Keiko is feeling right at home in Newport after mm -hmm. his big splash down at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Welcome back to Channel 2 News. Here's what's new at 5.30 tonight. Well, Keiko's popularity is worldwide, but he's really making a name for himself at his new home here in the Northwest. As Bob High reports, Keiko mania is catching on, and that has some local companies playing catch-up with demand. Keiko's popularity is making a huge impression at Northwest Portland's Goldsmith Company. They've already printed thousands of Keiko shirts, hats, even water bottles. Now that the whales arrived in Oregon, they're swimming in a sea of demand for more. I think when Keiko was still in Mexico City, people really weren't sure about what was going on. And once he's here, I mean, we've been getting a lot of phone calls. The response has been tremendous. Fred Meyer stores have been shipping Keiko t-shirts to the coast because demand in Portland hasn't been that strong. They also stock, believe it or not, Keiko root beer. We had a good push on it at the beginning, and of course during the winter months, there's not too much of a call, a heavy call for pop in general. And uh, But now that the animal is here, I believe it'll take off. 
Tens of thousands of these Keiko adoption kits have been sold by PetSmart stores. Most of the money goes to the Keiko Foundation, and kids get Keiko information. They get to, to learn about uh, the uh, orcas. Uh, they get uh, uh, letters uh, sent to them. They get uh, posters and all kinds of neat things like that. Not quite as neat, though, as Renee Ewan's license plate. She has hopes Keiko celebrity brings with it two things. I think um, public awareness and also um, the biologists and mammalists, I guess you call them, learning how to transport orcas um, and whales in general from uh, maybe not so good situations to better situations. Renee hopes Keiko can someday enjoy the kind of freedom the rest of us have. In Tiger, Bob Hahn, Channel 2 News. And if you want to donate directly to help in Keiko's care, you can donate to the Oregon Coast Aquarium or send a donation to the Free Willy Keiko Foundation. Here's the address, 300 Broadway, Suite 28 in San Francisco, California, and that zip code is 94133. If you donate at least $25, they will send you one of those Keiko adoption kits to share with your children or other youngsters you might know. Well, Keiko arrived yesterday, but this is the first day people could actually get a look at the famous whale. Paul Lindman, who knows a lot about whales, is at the aquarium in Newport. Paul, what's the reaction to Keiko there? Everybody loves Keiko, and what you're looking at right now, Steve, is the tank. His handler's up on top. We've moved on top, too, because uh, once the exhibition closes at 5, it's dark uh, through those windows. There's really not much to see down there. But the, uh, the consent has been uh, tremendous, and it's been unanimous. Uh, the people going through that room today and the people working with Keiko are in love with this whale on his first day here in Oregon. But you know who makes up the biggest crowd down here today? The media. Let me give you an idea of what I mean. You can't believe how many people have been here in Newport to tell the world the story of Keiko. We have seen crews today from Mexico, from England, from Australia, from Japan, even from Finland. 125 different news organizations, 350 members of the media have taken this story back to their homelands in every form imaginable. You know, one of the measures in our industry these days, the OJ trial, everybody talks about that as being the big media show. I talked to several people today who were, as there's Grant McComey str struggling over his work today in the satellite truck with, with Brian, his photographer. But anyway, those people that covered OJ said, hey, Keiko's bigger. <laughs> there's more media here than we had in L.A. Uh, at the end of the trial. But this was the first day, as Steve mentioned, for people to really get inside and tour and see Keiko. It was absolutely wild here all day long. And let us give you an idea of what that was like now. It began uh, early this morning. The aquarium opened at 10, but the line was out there beginning at 7.30. And even before then, long lines were formed at the door. And once people got in, they packed into Keiko's exhibit, most of them absolutely amazed about what they were seeing. Real good. I like this. I love going and seeing things. Isn't it fun? You've been waiting a long time, haven't you? And plenty of uh, gift shop items on sale. The small stuffed Keiko at about $2.95 is the big seller down here. I got that directly from the cashier over at the uh, gift shop at the Oregon Coast Aquarium as I was buying mine. Uh, so all things considered, I'd say it's a home run. For those of us in the media, it's such a pleasure to cover such a positive story that everybody feels so great about. Everybody here knows that because of the children, because of the backers, the uh, Free Willy Foundation, and everyone involved here at the Oregon Coast Aquarium, good things are now happening to one orca whale. That's something to be feeling good about at the start of 1996. Steve, I'll kick it back to you. It sure has been fun. I'll bet it has. Let's mark that down. Keiko, bigger than OJ. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Paul Lim in Newport. Talk to you later on. We know lots of you are going to want to see Keiko, and here's how much it'll cost to get into the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport. It's $8 for adults, 7 for seniors 65 and older. Admission is $4 for kids between 4 and 13, and youngsters under the age of 4 get in free. There are also group rates available. Well, he's the biggest star in Oregon now. Lots of people want to see him. If you can't make it to Newport right away, here's another look at Keiko in his new home. We'll see you at 630.